today we are going to unbox my ring alarm. This is the eight piece ring alarm kit. This is the base unit. Keypad. Power supply. Keypad adapter. Motion detector. And then one, two, three, four contact sensors and the range extender. Okay, now everything is unboxed. I have everything laid out. This is what the whole kit comes with. I'm gonna read the directions. Even though I already watched a video, and know how to install it somewhat. It looked really easy on the video I watched. I do already have a ring doorbell and I already have a ring security camera out back. So I already have a ring account. So the very first thing you have to do is download the ring app on your phone. It does require an internet connection and Wi-Fi. I'm gonna connect this. So you have, a, you have two options when you're connecting the base. You can mount it to a wall and connect it through Wi-Fi, but I'm gonna connect mine using the ethernet adapter. So mine is gonna sit on the shelf where my other, all my other internet stuff is at. So it's gonna sit right there. You don't have to hang it on the wall and you don't have to connect it physically. You can connect it with Wi-Fi. In the Ring app, you're gonna to go to set up a device and then we're going to choose security devices. Tap base station. Where would you like to set it up? It's showing my home address. Confirm your location type. I'm choosing home. If the alarm goes off, this is where the siren is gonna come from. So make sure it's in a central location where you can hear it. Plug your base station into a power outlet and continue. Okay, let's go in there and plug it in. I'm just gonna put it in between all of my little books here, just kind of hidden in there, but I'm gonna put it on the end. So I'm gonna move this little rock out of the way and add this to that. So it's gonna slide right in here. And then I'm also gonna connect it to my internet. Connect your base station to the Ring app. Wait for the LED light ring to light up. It's lit up. Press the pairing button near the rear of your base station. Right here, little tiny button. Press it. Once the ring is spinning, you're gonna hit find my base station in the app. Do you wanna continue with ethernet or Wi-Fi? I'm choosing ethernet. Connect your ethernet cable, I already did that. All right, I just hit cancel and skip through the ring professional monitoring questions. You can go back later and set that up if you want to. It's an option, you don't have to do it. Okay. It's finished setting up. Now I'm choosing the option to add a device. So I'm choosing ring contact sensor 10460. That's what this is. So let's pull the tab. That's this little plastic tab here. It also says add one device at a time. It may take a few minutes for the devices to add. Okay, device has been added. Click here to finish setting it up. Let's set up your sensor. Hit continue. I think for that door, if the alarm is on, I want it to be a delay. So I'm gonna choose secondary door. Uh, what room will your contact be placed in? I'm gonna call it the den. So I'm gonna say custom and just type in den. Make sure the installation area is clean and dust free. Use a cleaning solution that cuts grease, such as alcohol. This helps the adhesive form a strong bond. Okay, let's go do that. Okay, have all my thing. Alcohol, contact sensor, cotton. So for this door, I can install it either right here where the door opens and closes right here, or I can install it right here. I'm glad I cleaned it. <laughs> oh. There's like a tiny little lip in the door 
right here where the door frame is for the door. So I want to put the contact sensor where the door is. And then right here, so it can't be more than one inch apart, but they do have something called a riser. So I could take this part and get a riser so they line up perfectly. It sounds like every time I disconnect, every time I separate them, I can hear the blink blink so it knows it's being separated. As long as it's at least an inch away from each other, it should be fine. So I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna install it anyway without the riser, but if you have that problem, like where you have a door frame or a door jam, you may need to get a riser. So now all I'm gonna do is just peel the backing off and stick it to the door. This is what I mean here with the, there's a little bit of a gap. It doesn't line up exactly perfectly. Okay, we've got one contact sensor installed. I have three more. The other ones I'm not sure where I'm gonna put, probably the front door. And then the next step is motion detector. So let's go install the other contact sensors. I'm gonna put one on my garage door and then I'm gonna put one on my front door. And then the third one, I'm just not gonna put on anything right now. I'll do that later. So in the app, I'm gonna choose 51067. So you have to pull the plastic. All right, so the next one I'm installing on my garage door. Let's go do that. Okay, I got my trusty alcohol wipe. I'm gonna clean it. This one is gonna go like right around this. <laughs> Ignore the chipping paint. <laughs> oh, see this, this one wasn't that dirty. All right, so this is the device that I'm going to install. One is gonna go here, one is gonna go here. So they're not gonna be perfectly lined up together. It's okay if they're a little bit separated as long as they're not separated more than one inch. And then we're gonna peel the backing off, stick it to the door, and then same thing with this one. We're gonna peel the backing off, stick it to the door. So once the ring contact sensor is installed, device is added, tap here to finish setup. Let's set up your sensor, continue. It's asking which door it's on. Uh, a main door, this is an entry door, so there'll be a pause when you install it. Custom laundry room. Okay, open and close the door to test. next thing we're going to install is the motion detector and you can install it flat on a wall or you can install it on a corner so you've got two different options whenever you install this you peel off these two sides if it's going in a corner or these two if it's going on a wall a couple cobwebs off of that one. Ring motion sensor. Pull the battery tab on the side of the sensor. Device added, tap here to finish setting up. Let's set up your motion detector. Okay, the next thing we're gonna install is the keypad. You have a couple of options when you're installing the keypad. You can attach it directly to the wall, maybe in the laundry room or one of your entryways, or you can just leave it on a counter somewhere, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna mount it to the wall right now, I'm gonna leave it on my kitchen counter. So if you're gonna leave it on a counter uh, or mount it to a wall, you have this bracket. So you're either gonna screw this bracket to the wall and then mount it to the wall with the bracket, but what I'm gonna do 
is turn it around and use it as a little whatever that is like a trivet i'm going to use it like a trivet and just leave it on my counter ring keypad plug in the keypad ring keypad device added let's set up your keypad continue let's say it's in the kitchen I'm just gonna call it keypad For the range extender, it says to connect it between your system and the furthest device. That's going to be my guest bedroom, so I'm just going to plug it in over here. Okay, let's set up your range extender. Continue. device I have to set up in the set is the contact sensor. I wasn't going to set it up, but since I'm already in this room, might as well just set it up here. This entire install took me about 30 minutes start to finish. As you can see, it was super easy, very intuitive. The app walks you through everything. I originally started to read the instructions that came in the box, but as soon as you open the app, it walks you through step by step everything that you need to do. I hope this video helps you out. If it did, hit that like button and also subscribe.